Welcome to JavaScript Talks. We are comparing render batching behavior of React 17 and 18. So for that, uh, I've created two React applications. One is in 17 and another one is in React 18. This is the alpha version of React. So first I'm starting with 17. I have one simple uh, component. I'm going to track the state management, right? So let's write one button. By the way, I'm using uh, material UI all right it looks fine now whenever I'm clicking this button I am going to set the state so on click of the button I'm going to write one handler and let's say there is one state called name all right so let's say on click of the button I'm going to set the name as you can see if I click it's not actually doing anything so let's do one thing uh, let's lock the rendering so that I can find out whenever it renders as you can see I got the first rendering because it is uh, refreshed now if I refresh it I get one more now if I click on the button I get one more rendering because we are setting the state and that time react renders it so instead of setting just one state I'm going to set it multiple times so why not just uh, set random value so I'm setting random values all right multiple times now what is going to happen if I click on the button then multiple times I'm setting different random values in the state so ideally react should uh, batch all the states and trigger one render let's see what happens refreshing again and clicking on the button and I'm getting only one rendering and that is perfect so if I click on this it is one rendering inside this on click handler if I set state multiple times it works in react 17 it works but there is one problem here let's say I have one set timeout inside set timeout if I set these states and then if I refresh and click again see multiple renderings are happening because react 17 or 7 before I mean before 18 uh, it doesn't batch the states inside any non DOM event handlers non DOM event handlers means the event handlers that are not generated from the events that are not generated from DOM like set timeout set timeout event uh, is not generated from DOM right and also one very important one that is uh, fetch call right we often use this fetch uh, set timeout is very uncommon we don't use it everywhere but Fetch is very common. We always need to fetch some data from the server. So let's say we have one user file, user JSON file, and we are fetching that. And then when we're getting the data, we're going to set some state. All right. So this is I'm going to set here. All right. Now if I refresh the page, if I click on it again, I'm getting the same thing. Uh, multiple render. It shouldn't happen, right? So this problem has been fixed in react 18 let me show you how it works in react 18 I'll stop the server at first and this is our react 18 one can start all right it is react 18 now so let's do one thing just copy paste the code from react 17 and see how it works code is same we are fetching the user json file and then we're setting the state multiple times now if i click it i can see only one rendering is happening and that is exactly what we wanted right this is react 18 by the way so why not why not check the version react the version if i print that i'm going to see the version so it is react 18 and it works fine so what is new here in react 17 the batching the render batching works only inside event handlers that are generated from DOM for example on click on blur on change but whenever you try to use this batching behavior inside set timeout or fetch or ajax callback ajax success ajax error then it doesn't work in react 18 that problem is solved and you can use this batching behavior everywhere so you no longer have to worry about uh, batching manually you just have to call the uh, set state or anything you just 
set the state and state and react to patch all the state updates and trigger one render so that is very very useful 